Hey traders, Philip Tigerson here from Stock Market Strategy. Before I start, I just want to say that trading involves risk and hard work, so please do your own due diligence before trading for real money. Today I'm going to talk about head and shoulders. I will explain the requirements for this chart pattern and how to spot them. Furthermore, I'll explain the psychology behind the pattern and in the end show you how to trade the head and shoulder pattern. If you go to a website www.stock market-strategy.com you'll find a tab called education, chart patterns and head and shoulders. Here you'll find a written summary including two charts, one showing you the requirements and the other one showing you how to trade the pattern. Head and shoulders is a versal pattern meaning we'll be looking to catch the beginning of a new trend. The head and shoulder pattern is a real-time tool whereas an indicator is lacking. This is one of the reasons why this pattern is widely used. Another reason for the popularity is that the pattern is very easy to spot. I'll show the requirements so you can spot them for yourself in the future. First, we need an established trend prior to the pattern. This is very important because the head and shoulder is a reversal pattern, so it needs a prior trend to reverse. Second, then you need a left shoulder. Third, you need a head which is higher than the left shoulder. After that, you need a right shoulder which is lower than the head. And the fifth is a neckline, a well-defined trend line, which goes from the retracement after the left shoulder to the retracement after the head. And here's the most important thing about this pattern is it's not confirmed a head and shoulder pattern until we get a close underneath this neckline. It's very important for you to remember that. Number seven. It's not a requirement, but it's something we often see. That is, what were support becomes resistance. That price action comes back up and tests this area. I like this pattern because I understand why it works. It uses psychology in trading because you can see when other traders are in emotional and financial pain. Here's an example. We see an uptrend, so people will be buying the retracement after a new high. So they buy this retracement. We make a new high, which is the head. So they buy this retracement here. Then it climbs and forms that lower high, which is the right shoulder. When it then gets rejected fast, like here, and drops quickly, and close underneath this trend line, people are now underwater. They're losing money. So this pattern feeds on losing traders. Head and shoulders can be used for both analysis and entries. First I'll show you how to use it for analysis. Here you see the real estate sector. We see we have an uptrend prior 2007. Then we get a head and shoulder. I know it's not a perfect head and shoulder because the right shoulder kind of have two peaks here. But there's a saying. You can be a perfect chartist or you can make money trading chart patterns. I prefer making money on the chart patterns. Here we got a close underneath the trend line, the neckline which tells us that we got a trend reversal. So if people investing in real estate had analyzed this sector, they would have avoided buying new apartments or new houses or off-plan projects because we got a trend reversal happening in the real estate sector. Okay, now you know the theory and the psychology behind this pattern. So now I'll show you where you can go short. There are three places to go short. The first one is very aggressive because you assume it's going to be a head and shoulder pattern. This will give you a good risk to reward but a lower hit rate. Down here is less aggressive because this is your trade when you got the confirmation. It gives you a higher hit rate but not as good risk to reward. The third one gives you a good risk to reward and a high hit rate but you will sometimes miss the trade. It will not always come back and test the resistance. Okay, you have done your analysis. You know how to spot the head and shoulder. You also know where to go short. Now we need to know how to go short. The first trade here, the aggressive one, you see that lower high. The day after we opened underneath those two bars and closed down here. When it closes the bar, that's your entry. That's because we are catching the prior two bars traders. It's 
called a shock. It opens up here, climbs. The next day people buy it still. But then the day after again we gap down underneath those two bars. People are shocked that it didn't go higher and they're suddenly trapped in a losing position. The second one is more by the book. It's a close underneath the neckline. That confirmation. But it's important it's a close. The third one is what I call a shooting star if I'm using candlesticks. But when it's bars I'm calling it a topping tail. It's because it opens here move up and then it moves down the same day and closes down here. It shows that there's many sellers waiting to go short up here and that's why it gets pushed down the same day. It shows weakness so that's my entry at the opportunity 3. This ends today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos.